giant wood headboards are super trendy and can sell for lots of money, like hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but that never deterred us, everybody. Here with a completely custom headboard that you can make using items you may already have in your backyard is the man can. I'm sorry, I have to correct you on something. Oh, okay, I apologize. Thousands of dollars. I looked online, one with actual reclaim, about 1,300, 1,200 bucks. Super expensive and super cheap. Wow, and they look fantastic, right. and you're saying that we're gonna make one right here, right now. Exactly, with items from your own backyard. Okay, tell me what items you're talking about. We're talking about the actual reclaimed wood. So okay. let's talk about reclaimed wood for a second. It's big, it's trendy. You used to be able to get it everywhere for nothing, and now depending upon where you are, it's a little bit trickier. So the wood that we're using is the, these reclaimed fence boards, and this is from an actual reclaimed wood source, stored here in LA. So you okay. Can, you can find these stores that specialize in it. They've already cleaned it, they've cut it, they've made it all consistent. I see that. Super easy, but you're gonna pay a little bit more for this. Exactly, and what's, what's some other options? This, here? you can now go to places like Home Depot and Lowe's and you can buy reclaimed wood, which is basically new wood that they have dyed and stained to make it look. And this is very inexpensive. This is an option. Okay, great. The third option, and my most favorite, is actually go into your backyard and actually find some reclaimed lumber. Check your, um, your eBay, your Craigslist, your local ads, people who are ripping down fences, People have it, people have it in their garage. Absolutely. Get, some people will pay you to take it Some away. people take down their barns and they have it just lying around, right. they wanna get rid of it. So Because all luck. this is is old fencing. If you had fencing you've put up for 10 years, you can take it down. And, and then you the can do wood. a combination of it too. You can do a little bit of the expensive stuff, but then you can also use some of the stuff you found in your house and then right. buy some of the other stuff from Stuff that some Home Canadian Depot. put up when they had a fencing company in yeah, college. That's right, that's me, <laughs> that's right. Back in the day, I used to do fences and decks. Okay, so right. now, before we create and we do our magic little design here with the reclaimed wood, we need a base, of course. Tell us what we have here. Exactly, so you need a base to attach it to. Nothing fancy, this is three quarter inch plywood. You can also use half inch. You don't have to get the fancy sanded stuff, just the really rough stuff, as long as it's flat. Okay, then we gotta uh, set up the design, right. and we're gonna call this, it's a chevron a design. chevron pattern. Okay. Oh, There's good. a little bit of math involved. It's very simple. You wanna find your center line on your board. Yeah. We made this 64 inches, so this is 32 inches. Copy. You then want to mark the center of your first piece of wood. Okay. And what you're gonna do is line up the mark on your first piece of wood to your center line. Yeah. And you'll want to get a speed square because you just want to make sure that's at a 45 degree angle. Okay. Set that up. That is it. You have to do no more measuring at all. And that's when you do the pencil work. You want to pencil that in. I see. You don't even. I penciled in so that we could see it. You don't oh, even have to do that. Okay. Use very your good. Speed square. Get it in place. Get a nail gun that's gonna be the right depth. Now, you don't have to use a nail gun, you could just use glue, wood glue, and set stuff on it. I find the nail gun much It would probably and be fine just to use wood glue, you wouldn't could, it? Yeah. I mean, it's not like it's supporting any kind of a load. Exactly. Or okay, very good. So, and then all you're gonna do. If you got a nail gun, use that. Obviously, these are pretty small finishing nails I see that you have. Exactly, okay. because the stuff is really thin, and as you said, it's super... Yeah, let me give you the other side here. It's super light, so you really don't need a lot. And then once you've done that, all we're doing is lining up this edge, and that angle is going to work out. And then you just kind of copy that pattern all the way down, right? All the way down. As you simple just as that. adding and adding and adding. And we're not going to worry about the boards over overhanging from the edge of the base, and you'll see why in just a right, second. Right, you don't everybody. worry about that at all. You just keep doing it. Because one of the things that I thought of when I saw it, do you want to do one more? Yeah. Let's do one on. more. Okay, one more. Boom. One of the things I thought of is like, how are you going to do these 45 degree cuts? Well, guess what? No 45 degree cuts on these. Well, I guess you are indirectly, but right. it's actually pretty easy. Let's you don't need a saw. So you go ahead and finish up this whole thing. Okay. And as you see, we have that wood lying off. Yeah. Now I'm going to ask you to help us out here. You got it. You see the overhang I was talking about? Here. All you're going to do is get a straight edge, draw a pencil line, sure. and then go through and trim off any of your extra wood. Mm -hmm. That's gonna give you a very clean, easy line. Now, before I start cutting, I got a circular saw here, but you could use a jigsaw you could as do well. Jigsaw. I'm gonna get loud careful. here. careful, you don't wanna get wavy. Straight like that, and, and then that's sand it, it up Boom a little done. bit. Yeah, very good. And you good. don't have to worry about that being perfect, okay. because what we're gonna come through later is a one by three, and this is actually from the, um, from uh, the lumber yard already, this is like sort of faked reclaimed, and all we're gonna do is just go right around the edge. Oh, was I supposed this. to do that for you? I can't remember. Got it, no, you just wanna hold that. Okay. And you're gonna, that's gonna cover up any problems you happen to have with your cutting. Good. And give you a nice, clean edge. It and then this is the only 45s that are gonna be tricky to cut, right, a little miter saw, or? So you just need a, on the other way here, you just need a little yellow miter box, 
But honestly, you could also just butt joint that and not cut an angle at all and just keep it a nice straight edge, which would look honestly just as good. And look how good this looks, everybody. I'm telling you right now, like Ken said, it could easily be thousands of dollars in a store. Uh, right, like so everyone who has a fence that needs to be replaced, you know who you are, replace the fence and make a headboard. Now we're gonna go hang this up inside, right. but before we do, how are we gonna hang it? I just wanna show everyone we have a French cleat. So you just wanna do your, your raw edge, hang your French cleat at the top, and then come inside, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna hang okay, it. Okay, you go first, I'll All follow. Right. This is exciting. How beautiful is this, Ken? So easy. All right, nice, I gotta go a little bit low. All right. And we'll come in and around. All right, here we go. Now we have our French cleat already yep. up on the wall here. Okay, All good. we're gonna do is put this over here and slide it down. And I think that caught. There yep. we go. We now we got it marked for center. We gotta come yep. way this way, I think. There you go, get that centered on the wall. A little bit more my way. A little bit more your way. Oh, there's there this go. mark. Okay, there we go. very good. And awesome. Then we're pull our bed. Oh my goodness. Like this, how glamorous and like home design magazine does that look? This Old is fencing, gorgeous. Some bot like trim and voila. Ken, you are amazing. I am so excited about this. So now what are you doing with the $1,500 we just saved? Yeah, well, that's, we got lots of ideas. <laughs> Believe me, that's for sure. Full instructions, you know where to go, everybody. HallmarkChannel.com.